Now a question for all you parents. Would your kids ever wear a $15 pair of shoes, 15 bucks, that is, or would they scoff at the idea? A lot of kids wouldn't even blink at the prospect of dropping $100 or more on sneakers, but now one NBA star is trying to teach kids to invest in themselves instead of their shoes. Call it the back-to-school battle between what kids want and what parents have to shell out to get it for them. For every kid, they're really the must-have items. They're items their friends have, they're items that they read about, and these items are super expensive, and not just expensive for a kid's standards, expensive for a parent's standards. They want to have, you know, $100 jeans, and I'm just not used to spending that for kids. I always get in, like, fights with my parents, I'm spending too much, I don't need this. My mom always talks about, like, when she, would, when she used to go back to school shopping, she would get, like, $10. $10 is, like, the price of probably a sleeve or something these days. <laughs> Or the price of this fall's hot new sneaker? Now don't laugh. How you doing? How you doing? All right. If this man has his way, the basketball shoe your kids will be clamoring for this fall could cost under fifteen dollars. See this shoe right here. This is the state-of-the-art technology oh. shoe right here. This is the Starberry One. His name is Stefan Marbury. His fans know him as the starting point guard for the NBA's New York Knicks. The fact that it's fourteen ninety-eight, not two hundred dollars not $150. You know, as well as anybody, that some kids were being killed. Definitely. Getting killed for their shoes. I mean, now we're putting people in a situation where people don't have to go to funerals because of a pair of sneakers. Marbury has teamed up with national retailer Stephen Barry's to create his own line of shoes and apparel. It's so nice what you did for family. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I can afford these shoes. Sneaker pitch man for a pro athlete is a familiar role, but Stefan is pitching a very unfamiliar and unique product, a basketball shoe that at $14.98 is actually affordable in a market where the hot sneaker can cost more than 10 times that. I went into the deal with no money. I didn't want any money. I just wanted based on what we perform, how we perform. But make no mistake, this is a business decision. An athlete of Marbury's stature can typically command a seven-figure income endorsing athletic shoes. So while he's giving up that guaranteed money for a chance at a bigger payday on the back end, Marbury claims he is just as interested in the cultural impact. I try to tell kids, don't want to live here. Don't want to be here forever. Always want to be a visitor, because when you're a visitor, that's when you know that you've made it. Marbury grew up here in Coney Island, and while he's now one of those visitors, he remains connected to the community. Oh, what are you trying? Oh, that's what the love is. The equipment won't be the issue anymore. A pair of shoes are not going to make you jump up and down. It's not going to happen. So will it fly? Here in Coney Island, at the court where Stefan Marbury became a playground legend, local kids sure sound like they're buying what Marbury is selling. Very economical? Is that what you said, young man? Excellent. We're putting people in situations where they can buy something that's affordable. Everybody wants to have that. I don't care who you are. Everybody wants to deal. Even I want to deal. That's cash. Oh, see, so you knew it. You know it right when it leaves. <laughs> it's like, yeah, all day long, Robin, all day long. Uh, Stefan is, is something else. He plays again for the New York Good Knicks. Him. And these shoes, and these are mine, I actually bought them, $14.98. But these over here, Diane, mm -hmm. these are $9.98. Mm. No, this, these are the most expensive ones but that I, he has. I was asking you, is this mm -hmm. enough traction to play basketball in here? I mean, Stefan said the first day, the first game, he's going to go to the store, take it right off the rack, go right to Madison Square Garden, get taped up, put the shoe on and, and play, play, and to prove that yes. And like he said, it's not uh, going to make the average person dunk and do a crossover, but I'd much rather pay fourteen ninety eight and not know that than yeah. pay a lot more for it. But Let the work and the yeah. talent be the motivator, not the shoes. But he said the parents, the parents that are coming up to him and saying, Heard thank it. you, thank you, thank you. I don't have to make a choice between that and medicine or food or whatever. I can get this, this school. Somebody helping them out. Yeah. That is. We'll be back with the water cooler. Friday oh favorites.